Thursday evening. It is currently about 7.34 p.m. And I uh, just finished putting the oil pan, the newly refurbished oil pan on the Rover. I only get like 30, 45 minutes, hour, hour and a half tops to work on the car in the evening. So I try to maximize my time while I'm down there. So every day this week, I've got something accomplished on it. And I will actually show you the engine momentarily. But before I do that, let me show you the undercarriage of the Rover. I still got a lot of work to do once I get it running. As you may or may not know, Rovers are known for leaking. And as you can see, this one apparently had a nice little leak. You see, I got all my, my uh, dry sweep down here to soak up the oil that was has been dripping and dropping and everything down here. But it is terrible. It is absolutely terrible down here. So once I get her running, I'm going to put her up on stilts in my driveway, clean up all of this oil, and all the other grime that's up there. Can I turn the light on? Oh, no, I can't turn it on. But anyway, all the oil and everything that's up there, we're going to clean it up and we're going to find out whether or not there is another leak somewhere else on this engine. It wouldn't surprise me. I won't be mad if it is. Well, yeah, because there's more work on my money I got to spend. But either way, I mean, it's to be expected. I bought a car that's not running, so that's what happens. I mean, it's, a, it's the nature of the beast. Anywho, just want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on on the Rover. And uh, let's go up top and I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. Like I said before, I only get 30 minutes to an hour and a half tops to work on the engine through the week when I get home after school and work. And this is what I've gotten done so far. We got the lower timing cup. Basically, everything on the bottom portion of the engine is on. The uh, crank bolt is torqued down. It's ready to go. I got to take the alternator back off because I need to put the seal on it. I forgot to order a seal, so I'm going to BMW tomorrow to pick that up. And the nut for the alternator, which that is not, was missing. So I got to get one of those from BMW as well. But everything else is done. Power steering pump is installed down there. Uh, AC belt pulley is on um, I was actually going to go ahead and put the other belt pulley on tonight um, but I think I might just wait until I, I put the seal on the alternator I am about to go ahead and put my valve covers on I don't have a reason to not do that so we're going to go ahead and knock that out and definitely close up this engine so that way I don't have to worry about any debris or anything going in there and I'm almost out of Permatex so I may or may not put my Vano seals on so we shall see. Um, another portion of this video will probably be me doing other stuff. I mean, I got plenty to do before I'm actually finished with this. Saturday is going to be kind of rough for me. I got to go get my sexy back, get my hair cut, get my beard taken care of so I can be sexy like my wife. And I also have to take my oldest daughter to the eye doctor. So I don't know how much work I'm going to be able to get done on Saturday. But we're going to work it out. There's a little one right there. And she has slime. That's outstanding. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, put these valve covers on here. And I'm going to move forward and get started on her YouTube channel eventually. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so it's Friday night. I'm working on the rover again. I got my dude Thad in here with me. Hey. He's over there working on his mini. Got the ass in the air, as you can see right there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do about getting this whole little scenario put together. The goal is by Sunday to have this thing running. Uh, next video, after this one, I wanna show you the car running and giving you a tour of how really messed up it really is on the inside of the car. So, yeah. I'll see you soon. Stand by. I'm out here at Pull Apart again. I guess I had a different management team last week where they said I couldn't record on the yard. But I'm out here again this week and management said I could record. So, welcome to Pull Apart, Lithonia. They have a fresh 2003 Range Rover right here. I need a handful more parts get this thing going I started the, the truck this morning everything's good that makes me very happy so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and get these last few bits that I need go home put it together and we're about to get the thing rolling my buddy Thad is out here with me too that you saw in the previous scene uh, he's working on an E34 trying to get some knock sensors off of it but he'll be down here shortly 
So, let's go ahead and get started on this vehicle. Here's Thaddeus right there, he's walking up. Hey. You get what you needed? Nope. All right, don't worry about it, we'll go back there and take care of it. But um, I'm over here getting uh, basically a bunch of bolts and screws <clears throat> that ended up disappearing from the previous owner. That's just about everything I need right up here. I got a few more bits I gotta pull off. But once I get these off, we're gonna head on out, head back to the house and put it together.